the God of breakthrough. Breakthrough is a word used when somebody succeeds in somebody's agenda. You might be seeking to marry. Um, when you get married, what we used to describe your victory is that you have broken the yoke of singlehood. When you are barren and you have been in the, 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 the valley of barrenness for years, when you get pregnant and you are expectant, we, we analyze that you have gotten the victory over barrenness and the God of breakthrough has answered you. Anna suffered barrenness for years. She looked up for, to God for miracle of child and she kept praying going to shiloh on yearly basis as recorded in the book of first samuel chapter chapter one and the bible told us that a day came when she prayed at the altar in shiloh and the priest blessed her and she had breakthrough over barrenness the god of breakthrough comes in the time when your hope is lost you might not notice the presence of God of breakthrough when you are moving on a stable land, when you are moving on the road of success, when everything you touch works for you. But you will notice the God of breakthrough at a time when there is difficult times, when the things that you are planning to do is not working the way you are planning, when the whole hope is lost. In the scripture that we read today, 2 Samuel 5, verse 20, from verse 17, the Bible told us that David was anointed king over all the Israelites. And at this time, instead of celebrating that he has become king over God's people, the whole nation of Israel, the fear that came upon him is the threat of the enemies called the Philistine cities. These are the arch enemies of God's people from time immemorial. So when David heard that the Philistines have started looking for him, he was afraid. But because David knows that there is a God in heaven who is capable of giving him victory, even in the midst of his arch enemy, he went to him. The Bible told us that he made inquiry of him whether he should go against the people of Philistine. And the Bible says, God answered and said, Surely I am going to give victory over the Philistine. And the Bible said that David went against them by the sword. And the Bible said he smote them all. He killed every man. He dealt with the obstacle. And David raised up his hand and said, Father, I know that you are the God of breakthrough because you have moved against my enemies like the overflow of the rivers of waters. Tonight, the God of breakthrough is entering into your life. And I don't care what is troubling your life. I don't care the challenges that you are facing this moment. I don't care what is the threat that the enemy is giving to you. What I know is that there is a God in heaven called the God of breakthrough and tonight has decided to visit you in your and your household. The God of breakthrough. The God of breakthrough is willing and is ready to listen to any man that we identify him. So tonight as we are discussing what God is going to do in your life is that he is introducing himself as the God of breakthrough. I know that you are passing through difficult time. A lot of people might be complaining about the economy. Your business might have collapsed. You might be looking for a child. You might be struggling for many things. But don't worry. After tonight, the God of breakthrough is going to come into your family. He's going to come into your situation. He's going to touch many things. And you will shout that there is a victory like the overflow of water. There are things that is coming into your life tonight that when you look back tomorrow morning, you will say, there is a God who is the God of breakthrough.
the God of breakthrough, is willing, is available, is already every time ready to move with any man that we inquire of him. In the places we read, the Bible told us that David, after he identified the trouble, instead of being fearful, instead of saying, is this what, is it, is this what it takes to be the king of Israel? Instead of being afraid, instead of talking against God, he went to God and said to God, I know you called me. I know you have made me king. It's not about the elders. It's not about who laid hands on me. It's about you who sit in the throne who is in the midst of course of fire whose name is breaker in micah 2 13 the bible said the breaker has gone ahead of them all david understood that god who is the breakthrough for his people has gone ahead of him even before he anointed him as a king hear me child of god your life has been made sufficient even before you come to become a Christian. Whatever battle that will come your way has been won. John 16, 33, the Bible told us, in the world you will have tribulations. In the world you will have many challenges. In the world there will be affliction. In the world there will be lack. In the world there will be crisis. But fear not. For I have overcome the world. That's the word of the one who is called the God of breakthrough. That is the one who has prepared you and has ordained you that in the time to come, you will be a witness and a testimony to nations that he is faithful to his word. The God of breakthrough is not ashamed of whatever situation that you will pass through. The God of breakthrough is not afraid because he is always a winner. He is not afraid that you will be ejected out of a house. He is not afraid that people will call you barren. He is not afraid that we people will call you poor. He is not afraid that your business will collapse. The God of breakthrough is willing and ready and is ready to give you victory at the end of time. It might not look like it today. As you are hearing me, the God of breakthrough has gone ahead of you. Tonight, there are afflictions that we end instantly. There are ones that the God of breakthrough will still live for a reason best known to him. There are ones he will allow to happen for a moment or for a time because he wants to take glory. The God of breakthrough is a king over all. In Psalm 24, verse 1, the Bible said that the earth and everything thereof is the Lord's. The human being and all that dwell in it is of the Lord's. So the God of breakthrough owns everything, and he has a set time for everything. And if the time has not come, he will not move. The God of breakthrough. Is willing tonight. He's in the house tonight. Can somebody shout hallelujah? The God of breakthrough. The God of breakthrough is the same God of Daniel. That in the city where Daniel was taken as a captive, Daniel was still reigning. In the city where Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego were slaves, they sat at the highest seat of authority in the land. In a city where they are supposed to be servants to many, they become the princes of the land because the God of breakthrough is with them. No matter the, the gang up and the orchestration of the evil one against anyone whose God is the God of breakthrough, the person will find himself a winner. The God of breakthrough is a powerful God. Joseph served the same God, the God of breakthrough. And even when he dreamt and the brothers betrayed him and sold him off in that foreign land, the God of breakthrough was with him and gave him favor. In the size of Potiphar, Potiphar gave him everything and he became a prince in that land. 
Potiphar's wife come against him. The God of breakthrough was with him. Even in prison, he gave him sight. He gave him instruction. He was with him. He was making him great and greater. And the day came, the God of breakthrough say, is the time for announcement. And he gave King a dream which he had no man to explain. So that the one that serves him will come to the throne. And Joseph, even as a slave in the land of Egypt, became the governor over all the citizens. And every man take instruction from him. The God of breakthrough makes room for every man. In this nation where everybody is complaining, if you are faithful to the call of God on your life, as a businessman, as a businesswoman, as a worker in, in multinational company, as a servant, as a house girl, whatever you are, it doesn't matter to the God of breakthrough. He will make room for you. He will give you the high places of the city. He will give you honor. He will make you and someone that sees you we say this is the Lord. The God of breakthrough was with the Israelites. And at a time when the service in Egypt is over, the God of breakthrough raised a man called Moses for them. God of breakthrough is a way of what you are passing through. He said, the cry of my people has reached me. The pain that I inflicted upon them by the tax masters has come up to me. I am sending you as a redeemer to my people. And he sent Moses to them. And Moses went there because the God of breakthrough is his God. God began to make way for him. God began to do signs. God began to give him authority. And he ruled over Pharaoh as a God. And the Bible told us that in, in, in chapter 10 of Exodus that the God of breakthrough told Moses to step aside that today I will walk through Egypt and I will deal with the gods of Egypt and then I will let and they will let my people go. Whatever is holding you down, tonight the God of breakthrough called Baal Parazim is moving against such and is bringing deliverance to your doorstep in the mighty name of Jesus. Just in a brief moment, to encounter the God of breakthrough, the one thing you must not fail to do is that you must live a holy life. You must live according to his principle. You must live a righteous life. You must be the child of God whom you proclaim that you are. The God of breakthrough. He told the Israelites, Be ye holy, for I am holy. Holiness is the nature of our God. And the Bible told us in Hebrew, in the book of Hebrew, the Bible told us that without holiness, no man can see God. That seeing is that you will not feel his impact in your life. It's not about the seeing of the end of life when you will go for judgment. It's about that is about the, the, the manifestation of God in your life will be invisible if you are living a life of sin. But if you are living a life of holiness, you will be able to see the impact of the God of breakthrough. Be ye holy, for I, the Lord, is holy. Number one thing to do to connect the God of breakthrough is to live a holy life. The second thing to, do the, to, to, to see the God of breakthrough in your life is to ask him, to inquire of him. The Bible says that when David sensed the problem that the Philistine has come against him, the Bible says that he inquired of the Lord, should I go? against the Philistine and the Lord said go surely I will deliver them into your hands many people don't know how to pray prayer is a key to bring the God of breakthrough to action prayer is a key to activate the power of God of breakthrough when man begins to pray the heavens begin to listen there is a certain time when you will get to a level of prayer you begin to feel the presence of god in your room and peace of mind begin to come joy of the holy ghost will fill you and a miracle is the next thing that you will see prayer is number two key number three key is faith in the god of breakthrough 
if you have faith as little as mustard seed the bible say you can say to this mountain move and fall into the sea and it will obey you faith is a key thing in relating and dealing with the god of breakthrough in the book of hebrew the bible told us without faith no man can please god so faith is the credit the recharge card that will make you make call to the god of heaven and get results you need faith active and working faith when you pray believe that you have received and you will receive your faith will transform your life your faith will give you strength to pray your faith will give you the grace to wait for him saul the king of israel was made a king he didn't know this key called faith and the bible told us in the book of Samuel that war was coming against him hard and he says samuel has wasted time he said the priest is not coming and the lord need to receive the sacrifice of israel and because he lacked the technology called faith the bible say that he went and made sacrifice on behalf of the priest and the sacrifice was not accepted and just immediately when he finished the sacrifice the priest of god samuel appeared and said you have done a foolish thing and that thing cost him the breakthrough that he seek if you must get the breakthrough through the god of breakthrough you must wait for him you must have faith in him you must have faith in his servants the fourth thing you need to do for you to have engagement with the god of breakthrough is that you have to know how to read his word and meditate and believe in it joshua 1 8 the book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth you shall read it day and night and meditate upon it and make sure you do all that is written in it and there you will have your way prosperous and have a good success if you are a student of the bible whether you are educated or not it will only take a little time and you become sound in the word of god you become sound in the character of god you become sound in manifesting god our time is no longer here the god of breakthrough is a god to be trusted i wanted to tell you many things about the god of breakthrough the men who transacted with the god of breakthrough and their result and the men who refused to transact and how their life went there is gain in following the god of breakthrough tonight as you are praying i want you to believe god that he will move on your behalf he will move tonight he will move tonight what is not available is going to be created tonight in the name of jesus i will trust in you i will trust in you let a week say i am strong by the strength of my god i will trust in you i will trust in you let a week say i am strong with the strength of my god in the name of jesus we have prayed father we thank you for tonight we thank you for your children we thank you for your word we thank you for what you have done we thank you because you have gone ahead of us every prayer point that has come upon this altar tonight lord i leave them as an incense unto you and i ask you that by the power of your word we will deliver as many that are under the danger of destruction in the mighty name of jesus i speak over your children their miracle is coming with speed every intention of their heart is coming with an answer Kabate 
Yana, Ibroto Shiba Laba Katosia Kata, Lekoto Bregede, every situation that is causing them to shed tears upon this altar of the God of breakthrough, you are breaking through that situation. You are overcoming that situation. You are overcoming your trial times. You are moving to next season because the God of breakthrough has gone ahead of you tonight. Tomorrow morning there shall be joy. The Bible says tears may rain throughout the night. Tears may rain throughout the dark season. But joy cometh in the morning. Today I declare your joy in the name of Jesus. Your joy is full in the name of Jesus. Your joy is breaking out like the overflow of rivers. In the name of Jesus, your answers is coming with the speed of light. I might not know your prayer point. I might not know your trial times. I might not know your complaint. I might not know your grudges against God. But what I know is that the God of great truth is at work in your life, is at work in your ministry, is at work in your marriage, is at work in your business, is at work at your workplace. The God of breakthrough has gone into action and is destroying the mountains that are incapable to you to surmount. Is beating down the walls of Jericho around you because he is breaker. When he comes, he will scatter every mountain, every rock that are difficult for you to scatter. The God of breakthrough is going before you. That situation is coming to an end. That sickness is leaving you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, every hard situation is destroyed tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Zaba ba 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 yikata zama ndege bele bragado shata mante kuto bragada gada. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Father, I thank you for this word. I thank you because I can feel what you have started doing in the life of your people. Leka ba shata. Thank you for moving like this tonight. That one that is crying profusely over burden in his or her heart lord break the barriers for him break the barriers for her break the barriers for your children and give them breakthrough those that are surrounded by the enemies like they surrounded david in the philistine season lord as we lift our hands every enemies of their life is coming down for their sake in the name of jesus every tongue that have risen against your children tonight we bring it to judgment in the name of jesus every weapons of warfare arising against them in their workplace in their family in their paternal life in their maternal life oh god Tonight it comes to an end of struggle. In the name of Jesus. Tonight comes to an end. The season of struggle. In the name of Jesus. Tonight brings to an end. The season of famine. You are moving out of that famine season. You are moving out of that season of lack. You are moving out that season of failure. You are moving out of that camp of the enemy. You are moving out. The Lord will go ahead of you. Like in the days of Jehoshaphat, the enemies will destroy themselves. In the name of Jesus, your life is in the hand of the God of breakthrough. He will decorate you with good things. In the name of Jesus, Psalm 86 verse 17, the Bible said, O Lord, give me a token of your goodness that them that hate me may be ashamed tonight the lord is giving you evidence for your service for your participation in this fasting season of the church and in this program that you have devoted time passionately to do the lord is giving you evidence in the name of jesus christ 
Doors of breakthroughs are open. Doors of prosperity are open. Doors of fruitfulness are open. Doors of great favors are open. Doors of circumstances that will orchestrate your celebration are open. You are favored in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, precious King. That difficult situation is surmounted. Ah, that iron bars, iron gate has been smashed. That veil of darkness over your family is lifted. That stubborn spirit is dead with and is gone back to hell. Every spirit of death is check back to hell check back to hell check back to hell that storm is steered that thunder is arrested your life will move in a good speed and an acceleration that no man can imagine in the name of jesus that is your inheritance that is your portion shout a big amen in the name of jesus